Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan, and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, welcome. I'm a plant-based RN, and I follow the starch solution. On my channel, you're going to find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes, no oil, and gluten-free. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. And for more plant-based content, you can follow me on Instagram at Chew on Vegan. If you're new to this way of eating or if you feel like you just need some more support, I started a Facebook group and there you will find like-minded people, recipes, inspiration, and support. And if you're still not convinced that a plant-based diet is right for you, I created a quick little e-guide that explains the benefits of a plant-based diet. You can also sign up for my newsletter. It comes out every other month. And in my newsletter, I tackle different subjects. Some are from a nursing perspective. You'll find tips, tricks, and recipes. I will leave a link to all these resources in the description box below. As I said in the intro, I will be showing you a recipe using some frozen and some fresh ingredients. I love to have my freezer full of frozen stir fries, all kinds of veggies, but sometimes I want to kick it up a notch and add some fresher ingredients to it. And that's what I want to show you today, how you can jazz up your frozen veggies. So let's get started. So I know I've shown you this stir-fry combo before, and I buy it at Costco. It's a really nice five pound bag, and I use it all the time, and great for quick weeknight dinners, but sometimes I like to kick it up a notch and add fresh veggies to it. So along with this, I'm gonna add some sugar snap peas, which there are sugar snap peas in here, but I want fresh ones in there. I've got some bok choy, some spring onion, and then I'm going to put a bunch of kale in there to really kick up the nutrients and the fiber. And then we'll top it with some sesame seeds. I'm also going to be showing you the Asian inspired sauce that I'm going to be putting on the veggies as well. And as always, I have rice already prepared in the fridge. I always have rice in there, so we will pair this with some rice. So let's get started. And I almost forgot, I'm going to add some water chestnuts in there as well. So now we can get started. Yeah, don't mind my stove, it's a disaster, but that's because I cook a lot. Anyway, I've got my nice deep pan here. I'm gonna add about four cups of these frozen veggies. I'm just gonna put the lid on and let these cook for a little bit uh, so they get a little bit defrosted. Now you can see that they've softened up a bit, but they're not quite done yet. We're gonna add in our bok choy. I had like three little stalks, my spring onion I sliced up, and then some sugar snap peas. We're just going to season this up with a couple of good pinches of salt and a little pepper. And we're gonna let this cook just a couple minutes. We don't want it to be overcooked. So I'm gonna turn the heat down to medium, and then I'm gonna show you the sauce, and the very end we'll add the kale. And I keep forgetting these water chestnuts. We're gonna add those in too. And I love water chestnuts, so I don't know why I keep forgetting them. Anyway, doesn't matter. Lid on. We're gonna start with two tablespoons of coconut aminos. You could absolutely use soy sauce but I am gluten-free, so I need to use coconut aminos. And then two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. Juice of half a lime. Then I'm using this garlic ginger stir fry. So we've got the garlic and ginger mixed together. So I'm gonna use about a quarter teaspoon of that tablespoon of maple syrup. We're gonna add a little bit of water. And then we're just gonna stir this all together. And then it's very important that you taste your sauces, your food, before you put them in because you may need more this or that. I mean, more vinegar, more soy, or coconut aminos. I also added some peas too. The full recipe will be in the description box with full measurements and everything. All right, now we're gonna put our sauce in here and we're just gonna let this cook in the sauce for a couple of minutes. And I'm gonna add the kale. 
and this will totally cook down. So we're gonna say about five minutes. So another perfect 50-50 plate. And I'm just gonna add a little coconut aminos to my rice. And a little over here. Ready for dinner. Let's give it a taste. So finished product, easy, fresh and frozen, very easy. The sauce is very easy, simple. You can be under 15 minutes if you've got your rice already cooked. So let's give it a taste here. Mmm. I really like that sauce. It's tangy. It's good. A little sweet. So you've probably noticed that I do a lot of Asian inspired foods and that's because it's fresh. A lot of veggies. It's easy. Just keep it simple. Just keep it simple and you will be successful. You will be consistent and that is the best way to live this lifestyle is to plan ahead. Keep it simple. Fresh frozen, doesn't matter, whatever you need to do to make it work for your lifestyle. So if you've made it this far in the video, please comment below with ginger and that way I know that you have watched till the end and I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, if you got value out of it, you learned something, please hit the like button. It really helps my channel grow. And as always, my recipes are good for you. They're good for the animals and they're good for the planet and what you put on your plate determines your weight and your fate. Until next time, thank you. So as I said in the intro, I'm gonna be so... So I've got my nice deep dish. Deep dish, what am I talking about? Can we see this? All right, now we're gonna put our sauce in here. Oh, that was good. 